Welcome to the Big Data and Hadoop tutorial series presented by Cosoid. In this lecture video, we are going to talk about HBase. In this topic, we will be covering what is HBase, HBase architecture, we will see the various components of HBase, the data model, the tables, cells and the rows, HBase shell commands, Finally, we'll be doing some hands-on on creating and inserting data in HBase table. So HBase is an open source NoSQL database and it's a column-oriented data store that is distributed and it can scale horizontally to thousands of commodity servers and petabytes of index storage. So HBase is column-oriented database management system that runs on top of HDFS and HBase doesn't support a structured query language like SQL. In fact, HBase is not a relational data store at all. HBase is actually an implementation of Bigtable storage structure which is a distributed storage system developed by Google. So it works with structured, unstructured and semi-structured data. If we see the HBase architecture, we have three major components. The client, a master server and a region server. So HBase master is the master server. And its task is to assign regions to the region servers and it also takes the help of Zookeeper for this task. It is also responsible for schema changes and other metadata operations like creation of tables. Then the region servers. Region servers have regions that communicate with the client and handle data related operations. Regions are nothing but the subset of a table. So client communicates with region servers to the zookeeper. So in HBase, the clients like Hive have tables. Then these tables are split into regions and that are served by region servers. Regions vertically divided by column families into stores. And these stores are saved as files on HDFS. HBase utilizes zookeeper for distributed coordination. So if we summarize the HBase components, we have client that finds region servers that are serving particular row range of interest. We have the H master, the master services that monitors all region servers instances in the cluster. Then the regions which are the basic element of availability and distribution for tables. And then the region servers which are continuously serving and managing regions. And in distributed cluster, a region server runs on a data node. Now coming on to data model in HBase. Data model in HBase is designed to accommodate semi-structured data that would vary in field size, data types and columns. So their model is made up of different logical components such as tables, rows, column families, columns, cells and versions. Data in uh, HBase is stored is located by its row key. And row key is like a primary key from a relational database. Row keys are implemented as byte arrays. Records in HBase are stored in sorted order according to the row key. Data in row are grouped together as column families and each column family has one or more columns. So here we have two column family, address column family and order column family. Each of these column families has these columns street, city, state and order column family has columns as date, item number, ship address and cost. These columns in a family are stored together in a low level storage file known as H file. Regions. So tables are divided into sequence of rows by key range called regions. So here we can see that three regions R1, R2, R3 that are dividing the 
rows into these regions. After the division of the rows into regions, these regions are then assigned to the data nodes in the cluster called region servers. Tables are divided into sequence of rows by key range called regions and then these regions are assigned to data nodes in the cluster called region servers. The column families. So here we can see we have row key which acts as a primary key. Then we have personal data and professional data as the column families with the columns name, city, designation and salary. So column is identified by a column qualifier that consists of column uh, family name concatenated with the column name using a colon. For example, personal data colon name will be used to access the name column in this column family. Column families are mapped to storage files and are stored in separate files which can also be accessed separately. So columns in HBase are grouped into column families and each column family has one or more columns like address or name or city for personal data and professional data we have designation and salary. Cell in HBase. Cell in HBase typically looks like having row key, column family, column qualifier, timestamp and the value. So data is basically stored in HBase tables as cells and cell is a combination of row, column family, column qualifier and contains a value and a timestamp. So the key consists of row key, column family name, column name and the timestamp. The entire cell with the edX structure information is called key value. So to summarize HBase data model, a table, HBase organizes the data into tables and table names are strings and composed of characters that are safe for use in a file system path. Then row, within a table data is stored according to its row. Rows are identified uniquely by the row key and row keys do not have a data type and are always treated as byte array. Column family Data within a row is grouped by column family. So every row in a table has the same column families, although a row need not store data in all its families. They are also string and composed of characters that are safe for use in file system path. Column qualifier is the data within a column family and is addressed by its column qualifier or simply column we can say. Column qualifiers need not be specified in advance and they need not be consistent between rows and like row keys these do not have a data type and are always stored as byte array. Cell in a HBase table is a combination of row key, column family and column qualifier uniquely that identifies a cell. The data stored in a cell is referred to as the cell value. Timestamp Values uh, within a cell are always versioned in HBase. So versions are identified by their version number which by default is the timestamp of when the cell was written. So if a timestamp is not specified during a write, the current timestamp is used. And if the timestamp is not specified for a read, the last one is returned. So the number of cell value versions retained by HBase is configured for each column family. Default number of cell versions is 3. Let us see some HBase shell commands. To start the shell at command line, you need to type HBase shell. Once your HBase is started, then you check the status of the system and the number of servers to status command. Now for creating a table in HBase, you need to write the command create table name. Say table name is EMP. Then you define the column families. We have two column families in this table, personal details and professional details. Now to get the schema of the table, you can say describe the table. Describe and then EMP is a table name. To list the tables present in this key space, you use the list command. Then 
Then if you want to insert data into HBase table, you use the command put, put, say the table name and then the data, that is for EMP ID. Then for putting the data into column families, you need to give the column uh, qualifier uh, with the column family name, personal details column name and then the value. Now after inserting the data into the table, you would like to view those records. Then you use the command scan and the table name EMP. Now for getting the record from the HBase table, you say get EMP and you want to get for first record, you will say get EMP1. Now if you want to get only the specific column from the record, you use get EMP uh, number one rows key ID and then you specify the column name giving that column equal to personal details colon, colon name. If you want to drop a table in edge base, you first need to disable it and then write the drop table command. So now you use disable EMP and then drop EMP. Let us do a simple hands on on creating a table in edge base. So let us go to our cloud era and open up the terminal. So as a first step, you are going to start edge base master and edge base region server before working on edge base. So for that, we'll be writing sudo service edge base master start and sudo service edge base region server start. After we have started both the master and region servers, we're going to type edge base shell to start with the edge base commands. So we are going to create a table EMP with the families, personal details and professional details. So we'll be writing the command create EMP personal details is one of the column families and the other column family is the professional details. So HBase table EMP has been created. Now we can describe this table using describe EMP command but we need to give the commas with this so we'll be saying describe EMP so we can see here table EMP is enabled the column family description is also given what uh, how much memory is it taking and all the details are given in the describe command now when we list we find that the all the tables which are present in the space are given so list command gives us that EMP table has been created now let us insert one record in this table using put command. Put emp1 personal details colon name comma ram. Now this record has been inserted here. Let us insert one more record. Put emp2 now we are inserting for personal details say city here we are giving the city as Delhi so two rows have been inserted now we can check using scan command that whether a record has been inserted or not so scan EMP displays the result in the form of key value pair. These are the row key ID and this is column plus cell. It has column, timestamp and value. Next let us get one record from the table. Get EMP comma 1 that gives us the record of first EMP with EMP ID 1. Now if you want to update the record, we use put command, put emp2, here we are going to change the personal detail city from Delhi to Pune. So this is how we are just going to update the record. Now we are changing the city to Pune. So our record is updated. We can also check, get the data from specific column using the command get emp comma 1 comma and giving the specific column name in the curly braces equal to 
equal to personal details colon name. So this will give us the record of only personal details name and the value as run. We can again check our table using scan command whether our updated record is present or not. So in scan EMP, we will see that our row number 2 has been updated from value Delhi to Pune because we have updated that row using put command. Now we are going to drop this table and before dropping this table we will be using disable EMP because it's uh, necessary to disable a table before dropping it. So after disabling this table, now we are going to drop this table. And if we go to list command, we can see that there are no tables present. EMP table has been deleted from the database. Here we have seen the basic shell commands like get, put, scan and how to create a table and how to drop a table. So this is all about the shell commands. Thanks a lot for watching our HBase tutorial. And for next step, you can go for more tutorials. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also register for in-depth big data trainings on www.coursoit.com.